All right, so we're gonna be doing the October pickups that I had for the Switch. To start off, I'm gonna be going with this one here. It's called Let's Sing. Um, it's the Queen Edition. It does come with the microphone. I know sometimes these games can be kind of hard to get, but this one was widely available. Next, I have Super Trench Attack. Now this game here was released by Pixel Heart. Um, I think you can get it off the NG Y. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the VGNY Soft website. You see right here. You could also get it off the Pixel Heart website, but it does take longer and they do charge more for shipping. And I think this here is a 1500 limited release. And I think they still had some of these. So you just need to check on their website. And next, I got this AO Tennis. Now, I think this was on sale for like $5 on GameStop. I think paying anything more than 10 bucks for a sports game is just too much. So $5 was the sweet spot for this. And I also got this game called Nexomon. Supposed to be some sort of Pokemon inspired game. I mean, it looks cool. I might get to this soon. I might make a uh, playthrough on this. And next, I got Blackbird. Now this here was a uh, limited release by uh, Limited Run. Well, I wouldn't call it limited anymore. It's more like a pre-order since they don't really do the limited stuff anymore. So that one came in kind of late. It took forever. And next, it's another game that they released. It's the Switch Force Collection. This one also took a long time to come. It was also a uh, pre-order that they had. And here's another one by PM Studios. I don't remember who did a release on this. I think it was Limited Run. Yeah, it was. See right here? It was Limited Run. They did this release a while back. I have ordered stuff from PM Studios before on their main website, so I think now they're doing some releases on their own website instead of going to Limited Run, but I could be wrong. And I'm going to play this one one day. I heard it was pretty good. Next, another one called Vitamin Connection. This one was also done by Limited Run. They had a pre-order a while back. I think this one took a couple of months. Don't really know what it's about, but it does look interesting. Next is one of my favorite companies, Super Rare Games. Um, they actually do limited releases, unlike limited run games. And this was their October release. And what I love about them is that their games are usually shipped out a week after they're posted on their website. So that's why I like them a lot. You know, they do a very good job at making sure all their copies are out that same week you order. And I haven't had a single issue with them. So that's one of my favorite limited uh, companies out there. And next, I got this Garfield cart. This one was also on sale. I think Amazon had a sale on this. I think it was like $10 or $15. And I actually heard it was really good. I'll probably do a playthrough on that one too. And next, we have another limited company called Strictly Limited. And this game is called Xeno Crisis. I couldn't read the front cover there. And I actually heard this was really good too. So it's uh, release number 29 and they made 2,500 of these. Now this is Ancestor's Legacy. This was also on sale on Amazon. I think it was 15, if I'm not mistaken. I really don't know much about it, but it looks pretty cool. And then we got another release by Strictly Limited called Load Runner. This was release number 28, so it was the one before the last one I showed. And there was 2,500 of these. I actually heard this one was pretty good, but I'm not gonna open this one up. It's gonna stay sealed. And then next, 
It's probably one of my favorite releases by Strictly Limited. It's the uh, Darius collection. So this here is the Cosmic collection, console version, and then they also have the arcade version. So they did two releases on this here. So you can see they're both release number 27 and there was 2,500 copies of each made. Next, we have a game by Red Art Games. They are also a limited company. You know, this one was released, oh, a couple months back, I think. Called Candleman. Don't know much about it. But I think it was uh, limited to 3,000 copies or 2,500. And uh, there's a few more I haven't picked up from them. They just haven't had many good releases lately. I'm not too excited about the other stuff they have. Um, I'm going to wait for the other stuff to uh, get a little better before I start picking, picking up more of their copies. And then here's another release by Pixel Heart. It's called Shmup. And this is the Shmup collection for the Shoot'em Up. And I heard this one was really good. It had like three games in it, if I'm not mistaken. It's uh, Satius, Satius, uh, I think I'm saying that right, um, Armed, and Wolf Flame. You could also get this off the uh, VGNY soft website. Because if you go to their website, it's um, out of the US, so the shipping will be a lot more expensive. They do have more games on their main website that you can pre-order, but you should just wait until VGNY gets them in. I think they're located in New York. So this copies came in pretty quickly. And next is a final one that I got. And this is also by Pixel Heart. It's the Guns of Mercy. This one actually looks really cool. And this is another VGN Ysoft limited release with 1500. I actually can't wait to play this one. So that's all the pickups I had for October. There was nothing too crazy, nothing special. Um, I'm still waiting for a few more to come in, but it's probably going to be a while. I placed a couple of orders with Limited Run and a couple of other companies, but they are taking way too long now, especially Limited Run. I don't know what's wrong with them, but they take months. I mean, they have probably like 20 games on hold that they haven't shipped me yet. So here's everything I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I'll try and keep these videos coming every month. Sometimes I'll be a day late, sometimes uh, I may not do one, but I'm going to try and make them more constant. So, if you guys like this video, just hit the subscribe button there and hit the like button, and I'll see you guys next time.